Have you ever pondered the unthinkable question, what would happen if a nuclear war broke out? It's not a pleasant thought, but it's a possibility that we must consider. The world is rife with political tensions, territorial disputes, and an ever-present scramble for resources. These elements, like pieces on a chessboard, can align to trigger a sequence of events leading to a nuclear conflict. The stakes are incredibly high, and the consequences unimaginable. Now imagine for a moment the first 24 hours of a nuclear war. The first 24 hours of a nuclear war would be cataclysmic. The moment the first bomb detonates, the clock starts ticking. The initial blast would obliterate everything within a radius of several miles, with temperatures skyrocketing to millions of degrees in a split second. This immediate destruction would be followed by a shockwave, spreading out and decimating buildings, roads and bridges. The environment wouldn't be spared either. The nuclear fallout, composed of radioactive particles, would ascend into the upper atmosphere, blotting out the sun and plunging the world into what's known as a nuclear winter. This would lead to a drastic drop in temperatures worldwide, disrupting ecosystems and potentially leading to a mass extinction event. However, the most profound impact would be on human life. In the blink of an eye, millions, if not billions of lives would be extinguished. Those who survived the immediate blast would face a harsh reality. Radiation sickness, lack of food and clean water, alongside the collapse of society, would make survival a daunting task. The infrastructure that we rely on for our everyday lives, power grids, communication networks, transportation systems, would be in ruins. Emergency services would be overwhelmed, with hospitals destroyed and medical supplies scarce. Governments would scramble to maintain order while dealing with the sheer scale of the catastrophe. In the wake of such destruction, the world as we know it would cease to exist. The first 24 hours of a nuclear war would reshape our planet and our civilization in unimaginable ways. Surviving the initial blast is only the beginning of the struggle. In the aftermath of a nuclear war, the world as we know it would cease to exist. The detonation of nuclear weapons would likely trigger what scientists call a nuclear winter. This is a period of abnormal cold and darkness predicted to occur after widespread firestorms following a large-scale nuclear war. The smoke and soot would rise into the upper atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and causing the surface of the earth to cool dramatically. In this cold, dark world, survivors would face the threat of radiation sickness. This is a serious illness that occurs when the body absorbs a high dose of radiation, often from nuclear fallout. Symptoms might include nausea, weakness, hair loss, skin burns, and in severe cases, it can be fatal. But the struggle for survival wouldn't end there. The social order as we know it would likely collapse. Governments and institutions might disintegrate, leaving individuals and communities to fend for themselves. Without the conveniences of modern society, survivors would have to revert to basic survival skills. Finding food and water would become a daily battle. With the collapse of agriculture and the contamination of water supplies, survivors would need to rely on whatever resources they could find or scavenge. They might have to learn how to hunt or gather wild plants, and how to purify water to make it safe for drinking. Shelter would be another crucial need. Survivors would have to find or build shelters to protect themselves from the harsh weather conditions of the nuclear winter, and from potential threats from other survivors. Surviving in a post-nuclear world would require adaptability, resourcefulness, and resilience. It would be a harsh, challenging existence. A far cry from the comfortable lives many of us lead today. But humans are survivors, able to adapt and overcome even the most difficult circumstances. Life after a nuclear war would be a stark contrast to the world we know today. But what happens when the dust settles? What would the future hold for the survivors? As the echoes of conflict fade and the remnants of our old world crumble, new societies may arise from the ashes. These nascent communities, forged in the crucible of catastrophe, bear the heavy responsibility of rebuilding civilization. But how might they function? What values might they hold dear? The answers lie in the lessons learned from the past. In these potential societies, the currency of power may no longer be wealth or territory, but knowledge, compassion and cooperation. Their defining values could be resilience, unity and the pursuit of sustainable living, ideals born from the harsh lessons of a war-ravaged world. To avoid repeating the mistakes of the past, they might strive for peaceful coexistence, 
prioritizing dialogue over conflict, understanding over ignorance, and love over hatred. This could be a world where humanity's survival depends on its ability to learn, adapt, and evolve. In the face of such devastation, the resilience of the human spirit may be our only hope for a new dawn. In the end, the thought of a nuclear war is a chilling reminder of our potential for self-destruction. We've journeyed through the unthinkable, the initial chaos, the struggle for survival, and the dawn of a new, harsh world. The devastation is unimaginable, and the human cost, unbearable. It underscores the dire need for peaceful resolution of conflicts, and the prevention of such a catastrophic event. We must strive for a world where such scenarios remain only in the realm of fiction. One can only hope that the future holds more promise than the grim prospect of a nuclear war.